Welcome back to Grids to Glam. How we feel in LA and beyond? I'm feeling good, other than the fact that you know I was in Alabama this weekend, and my lips finally recovered because they're really dry in LA. And I think as soon as I stepped off the plane, they are awful again. They're so. looking voluptuous. Can you move away from the mic for a second to show people, like, if I, I have can... lip gloss and lip gloss and <coughs> chapstick all over them? I that is the most embarrassing thing for me when I get my. When my lips are so chapped and then I let them get so chapped and then I put on my, like I get my busted lip. And then when I make Instagram stories, people comment about it. I'm like, you think I would, like, I don't know that. Yeah, obviously I know that. It hurts like hell. Right. And then when it's finally healing and then you go to bite a, like a sandwich or something, bust right lip, back up. Yeah, and and blood everywhere. So badly. It's the worst. Other than that, I'm great. This water, delicious. That's great. News. I hope everyone is drinking the water today. Um, I do apologize. We are putting this out a little late. Flight troubles. And let me just tell you. So the reason tell why it right was now. delayed in Houston. So then like I was still going to be able to make my connecting flight. But then it turns out in Birmingham, the same girl that was my gate agent was the same person that loaded the bags onto the plane. Who was the same person who pulled the gate back. And then she was the same person that pushed the plane back. <laughs> I mean, I'm surprised she didn't just fly the fucking plane at that rate. I know, right? Did you get her name? We need to get her a raise. I wish. Yeah. Like I was like, oh my gosh, that girl is incredible literally no wonder we're delayed so yeah miss my connecting and just hung out in the houston airport shout out for her was it american airlines united oh um you know i'm a delta boy and I'm well delta for me coming out of birmingham i don't it's yeah. not worth it i guess i just fly directly to atlanta because i don't i should fly to birmingham but i just love the direct flight and then i don't mind driving a little bit yeah but i do wish like montgomery's a small town so like the airport in it is absolute shit it's like not like birmingham's airport it's like smaller no flights like they always get canceled everyone's delayed like and this was before like everything was like where right. it is now so well this is my like formal plea for birmingham to have a direct flight from la you think that would be possible is it a big plane like it it's got to be big it goes from dallas right you could is have it three like and three well it just depends yeah from like houston to Dallas. like sometimes it's a bigger plane but the plane i was on was like teeny tiny oh yeah it was the united express you could just fly private i could <laughs> auburn's playing auburn basketball team is playing usc out in la december 18th and we have to go right but i'm like hoping that for some reason they'll put like a few direct flights from birmingham for that because they did that for the national championship as well Ooh. but like it'd be great for us for christmas yeah oh my god that's perfect we have to we need to start like booking flights literally because last time when I tried to get home for the holidays, I was in a, in for a rude awakening Fights when up. they were so expensive. Luckily, I was like had work when that was when I was going to Dubai for work. And so I was able to get like some sort of perk out of that where I mean, Dubai was great, obviously. Yeah. But like I was able to like to save a little bit of personal money flying from like New York to Atlanta because that flight's a lot cheaper. But the L.A. ones are always like a thousand dollars. Yeah. So I'm trying to I'm so close to diamond medallion which is like the best top level of delta and that is when i know i feel like i've made it as a traveler and i have every right to complain about where the plane is what the plane's doing where we are what we're doing when i studied abroad in italy when i was coming back uh my suitcases were like ridiculous like 150 pounds each or something did you buy a lot of stuff there Yes, I went to Zara in every single city that I was in. Like we traveled every weekend. Like that's like not the designer stuff where people no, go to get No, but the Zaras prices. in Europe are like probably exponentially better, right? Yes. And like in and every city too, like they were so much better. Also, is it cheaper at Zara in abroad like it is for designer stuff? Um, maybe a little bit, but they get all like the stuff way earlier. They get way better stuff. Yeah. And I don't know, it's so just you get back to the states. I mean, I still like, have half the stuff that I bought when I was in Europe yeah. that time. But because my mom I think is a diamond medallion or one of those, yeah. they let me fly with those. It's, they're so nice. Like two. Ev two. Every, yeah, everyone literally starts like doing great things. They're so sweet, they're so accommodating, and it's just fucked up that should be every single person flying cuz like it could be someone's first yes flight. Yes and no, but you would rather you work, I don't know. Right. Like I feel like it's good like 
I feel like proud of myself for like working up to that. Right. Um, And I've experienced a lot of horrible flights, but I've experienced a lot of like insane flights. Like the one I went from, I had a free flight from New York to LA. Then I got upgraded to Delta one, which is the lay flat beds. And I have never experienced something better than that. It was, I mean, the experience to just like lay down on the plane. You don't like, you just get there and you're like, you can either sleep or you can like, just really lay. enjoy everything. Yeah. No, I, for some reason on United, I have like really good status. Yes. And I've, I've always, I'm always put on like the upgrade list for first class and never get it. But recently I've been seeing on the planes, they like go back and like, if there's like extra upgrades in the front, they'll just go back and grab somebody that's on the upgrade list and put them up there. I'm like, when is that going to be me? <laughs> Wait, there was such a funny time when that happened to me, the person came and grabbed and the lady, he accidentally told the lady in the middle seat that she got upgraded to first class and then he was like she's getting all of her shit together like getting everything up and then um he was like oh my god i'm so sorry you know like it's actually him and like points to me and like a normal nice person would say like oh Oh, my god take take it it. it's babe it's a four and a half hour flight like i'm so sorry like i will be taking this yes and she can have your seat so she's on the middle the eye rolls i was given by that person but well, it's not your fault it's the it's the yeah they should have done her like gifted her ten thousand miles that was when i got like when my flight uh got canceled and i had to spend the night in iowa des moines iowa wherever the fuck that is Mm -hmm. sorry to any gritzers that live there surely you know i was at the airport hotel so i didn't see all of what iowa has to offer um so i'm sure it's a lovely place however it was not washington dc which is where i was going and then so they i had to stay in this like horrible airport hotel and they gifted me ten thousand miles oh nice and gave me like oh when i was leaving the plane yesterday i guess the flight attendant she was like um, to the girl in front of me she was like oh my gosh i'm so sorry again please tell me i did not burn you and don't worry you'll be you know oh i guess she spilled coffee on this girl and they like Gave her, oh, like, shit. premium something on United. Yeah. Like, That's obviously, it. but... I'm, like, bumping into flight attendants being like, burn me, please. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Thanks, babe. Like being in college and getting hit by the bus. Oh, my tuition. God. That was... Yeah, so at Auburn, there was always this... And we couldn't figure out if it was, like... A rumor or real. Yeah, like, if you get hit by the Tiger Transit, which is the huge, like, jumbo-ass buses that take everyone around campus, because a lot of people live off campus then you get free tuition, which I was like, everyone's like actively trying to get hit by the bus. Yeah. At that and point. that bus is actively trying to not hit anybody. Cause right. Cause they know people are, people are scamming in these. Yes. I mean, that would be me. I did hit a, a biker ran into me one time and then he literally just left the scene of the crime. Like I was pulling out, he was going too fast, nailed into the side of my car. And then I was like freaking out. Like, are you okay? He was like, yeah, got up, left. And I was, was like, your car. Okay. I mean, there was a dent in the side of it, so I was, like, a little annoyed, but I don't know who would be at fault. Maybe if someone, like, we have lawyers. If he hit you, (laughs) then it's him. Yeah, I mean, he literally hit me. I mean, sure, he was, like, not given enough time to properly break, but I couldn't see him also because there was a wall in front of me. Mm. Like, a wall here. He comes diving, pile driving into my car. I know. Yeah, that was when I was parking for the Auburn people, Coyotes. We had to park behind Coyotes and then walk to our apartment that was downtown. We have a knock on the door, and I'm not sure who that is. Well, guys, we have an early knitting club um, attendee. I will say not that early. Tristan was a little late. I was a little late oh filming. Lord. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey. We have a couple. Guys, we have so many surprises. So this is Miss Megan. <laughs> um, hey. We also have Mr. Podcast. Matt. Hey, Matt, hey, you want to slide sure. in? I got my returns <laughs> from... Patricia's boutique over here. Yeah, this is crazy. Matt, do you want to say hi as well? Yes, I'd love to say hi. Hey, everybody. Hey, Grits to Glam fam. Gritsters. Gritsters. Oh, it's the Gritsters. My yeah. bad. Guys, this is the best podcast ever. <laughs> you are exactly where you need to be oh, right now. Yeah. Wait, and while you're at it, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Smash hit that it. like button. Smash it. Go follow them on Instagram. Comment all of your you favorite good, things from this episode. Thank you, baby. Yeah, of course. Well, Megan, like, tell us, you know, who you are, what you do. Um, me and Patricia can share a mic here. Oh, God. Okay. Well, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm Megan. And I- oh, wait. Let's interview her. Okay, wait. Okay, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hi, okay. Megan. Break it down. This is so good. <laughs> this is actually really funny. Okay, Megan, what's your name? What do you do? And when did you move to LA? Also, where are you from? Okay, perfect. Hi. Okay. <laughs> um, so my name is Megan. I'm from New Orleans. I'm oh, sorry. My name is Megan. I'm from New Orleans. Um, I moved to LA about two years ago, and um, I work in the biz. 
Uh, and what kind of biz do you work in? I work in. The- <laughs> I work um, in the entertainment industry and theatrical marketing. Where? Paramount Pictures, LLC. (laughs) Heck yes. Yep, clean your glasses. Um, Well, so we are um, sitting here at Knitting Club. Megan has been an an attendee at Knitting Club since its um, beginning. She lives with her dear friend Sally. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, she has more to say. Hang on. I'm actually the founder of Knitting Club. Um, it was my idea. I thought we could do a book club, but then I thought some of us aren't the most voracious readers. Right. Um, and that's a lot of time, you know, to commit to reading a certain amount of pages every week. Totally. So I thought, how about we do a wholesome activity <laughs> together? How about I was getting sore? Um, Brooke knit, Sally Dar knit, I knit. So I thought... I knit. Patricia knit. I do not. I watch... One of my favorite things about the knitting club nights is the Kardashians and Real Housewives of it all. And one of Megan's favorite things to do, do you want to tell them what you do when we're watching Real Housewives or would you want me to tell everyone? No, I, just, like, I like to have standards in class and when a program is on that requires a certain amount of attention and devotion, I like silence. Okay, and that and one of those would we be... We cannot die, We cannot talk until commercial and I really appreciate that. And like I help you sh- people. Yeah. It's Sometimes I'm not loud enough. Well, you realize Sorry. how like short um, the commercial breaks are because well, normally they're long when you're not like like trying to get all your words in. But they are so short because you don't have enough time to just like chit chat and banter. Well, now Tristan has decided during every commercial to play FBI music. Yeah, me and Channing have discovered that we love FBI, um, you know, music, and it kind of makes every situation. I would really recommend everyone do this with their friend groups. Maybe when you're getting ready. When you're all talking over FBI or detective music, it kind of makes the situation like seem like, oh, like what's going to happen? Like, where are we? What are your thoughts on that, Megan? I, <laughs> I hate the music. Okay, great. Um, and maybe I wouldn't hate the music if it wasn't so goddamn loud. But then um, Tristan and Shannon get it at, at about 98. Yes, you and then what? Tristan forgets his phone is on aux, and then he starts playing TikToks over the FBI music. Here's the thing, guys. I enjoy a glass of red and by glass i mean bottle of red uh we might have a little oh, extra we, we have, have another, another guest. visitor megan get up now megan this was lovely so Brooke! Good. <laughs> yes brooke head on in here for a quick q a come on brooke <laughs> guys we have <laughs> we have another surprise walk in guest. Yes, Brooke. Uh, Brooke was one of our was our first guest actually, and I think we've definitely um, hi. <laughs> and I think we've kind of upped our game, haven't we? We have. It's, it's looking incredible. Yeah. Yeah, you've moved locations as well. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Well, I think this was more like just flattering. It's more conversation. It's more so just like roommates hanging out. Anyway, we have um, Brooke just getting back here from New York. Okay. How was that? Tell us everything. Tell us what you did. Tell them what you did if they didn't know. Right. New York was really good. Um, <laughs> <laughs> can you tell I do this for a living, actually? Yes. So um, went to New York to go to, it wasn't the Don't Worry Darling premiere. It was the Don't Worry Darling flagship event in New York City. Yes, by the way, perfect. Okay. <laughs> flagship event. Yes, flagship event via Warner Brothers Incorporated. LL- LLC. LLC. Um, that was fun. That's amazing, bro. <laughs> Thank you. And who was your <laughs> who was your favorite person that you saw at the event incorporated? Um, well, I was really, really excited to see Nick Kroll of right. all people because he is just my comedy icon. But I will say I've seen him do stand up before which has been kind of an intimate setting. So I was really more excited to see Harry that up close. And that's going to be Harry S. Harry S. Harry S. Yes. He looks Harry amazing that e night. Harry S. Okay. Yeah. No, Harry I mean, Edward Styles. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I absolutely love it. So you like New York. I did see Connor made a list, which I think Connor's a genius. If you haven't seen this, there's a TikTok on BNC MAP. Brooke and Connor make a podcast where Connor writes down all the things that Brooke has like she's put her soul out there on. How would you say it? like she does not like these things and she will die on that hill. One of them being New York. Right. Right. Tristan. Um, that is true. I don't like okay. New York. I still don't. It's not my favorite place, but I was more I was warming up to it more this trip than I have before. Why do you not like New York? Crowded, stressful, smelly. Rats. Walking. Walking. Rats. Yes. Et cetera. Yes. 
So, Brooke, what are we knitting tonight? <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm knitting a sweater, a turtleneck, which I've never done before. Awesome. Checkered. Yeah. Checkered. Wow. Yeah. I'm excited to Very see it. Very exciting. Thank you yes, so much. Absolutely. absolutely. Do y'all want me to leave or are you? <laughs> Matt. This has been the most chaotic Matt, episode. Come here. Matt, all right, we're going to cycle it. Yeah, we're going to okay. cycle it. Well, okay. thank you so thank much you for so joining much us, part me. two. We love you so okay. much. I just knocked over Patricia's uh, g- uh, glass. That's Look. Really Matt. I'm sorry, Brooke. Luckily, it's just water. Um, Tristan, how have you been? I've been really great. You know, I got a new phone today. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, is it the one that has the, the dynamic island? Is yep. that 14 I, Pro Max? Wow. Gold, gold feature capability. It sounds like you're just trying to like one up me like right now. Yeah, I am. I mean, you have one up me. Well, okay, so I was not going to get the phone because I had the 13 Pro Max, but I and was, I've been satisfied with the 13 Pro Max. And you don't think I have? Okay. So of course wh- I have. So what was the desire? Just because you like new things? I like new things. This one was gold. My other one was blue. And I liked the new camera. The camera on this is absolutely stunning. Almost too stunning. Do you know what I mean? It shows I everything. I agree. I don't know. Like, I go back and forth if I do like the camera. Hi, baby. Hi. I haven't seen Patricia in almost like a week. Aww. It really has. Like, you left, wait, you left last Thursday, right? Last Friday. You decided you oh. needed to go home and work on your PC. I did. I got a new gaming PC. I've been really fired up about Wait, that. Wait, so tell me about why you want to do the gaming PC. Like, well, I, I don't see you gaming. I only saw you gaming on the Nintendo, Nintendo Switch. Switch. Yes, I was a bit of a gamer during the uh, the early quarantine days on uh, Animal Crossing. But I've given that up. But as you know, I live with Todd Smith, Todd Eric, um, who does do LLC. a lot of Twitch streaming. You love making appearances on oh his Twitch God. streams. Oh, my God. I need to literally say, hey, I get Twitch notifications for Todd because all of his fans in there are the nicest people ever. They literally recognize me when I come in. They say, hey, Tristan. It's like, a great supportive community. No, they are so sweet. It has made me want to like download Twitch and game. So pretty much I kind of caught a little bit of that bug. But like PCs themselves are like – hideous to look at i think they're just really big Mm -hmm. boxy and ugly i fell in love with this itx like mini itx case that i thought was like the most stunning looking pc and i realized oh my gosh a gaming pc can actually look really cute on a desk and so i bought the case it was a big pre-order had to put it all together and now i've been playing casually i haven't done the official stream yet because i'm looking for the right webcam that's awesome, but I think we should address the elephant in the room. So okay. this weekend, I was gone. What do I receive in a group text from these two? Making out. Whoa, hold on. <laughs> hold uh, on, babe. We, you, you caught us. <laughs> we don't make out. Like him and Sally Dar, that's like making out. Okay, let's just like not. I, ca- I Occasionally, <laughs> if I've had like over 10 drinks. Okay, let's relax. You would do that like sober at dinner. I maybe what kind of tell dinner? them what we do tell them what we do we, Matt. we do an occasional pet <laughs> nah, for, for theatrical y'all. sake yeah with, uh, with tongue Brooke <laughs> prove it I've never once used tongue on Tristan uh, we had one Tristan, <laughs> but I think tr- when uh, we uh, have never no it was as scary oh as wait me. no but it was you <laughs> It was you who was doing the tongue and I was scared because then I looked back at the live image and it's it's something to see so let's just talk about like why is it when I'm gone that like you're making out with everyone like. <laughs> Wait, you're looking at Tristan. No, I'm looking at you. No, you're not. No, babe. Yes, I'm t- I am. Who, who else have I made out with or kiss while you've been gone? Uh, there were some pictures circulating. Yeah, let's just say I that. I mean, I was sent a few. You know what? You didn't call me <laughs> once the entire time Patricia was gone. I probably called her about three or four times. Patricia. Did not bother to just check in with me. You know what, Patricia? Come to think of it, you never really call me just to catch up and talk shop and to ask me how I'm doing. It's always me calling you to be like, hey, babe, how was your day? Well, I'm sorry. I was enjoying time with my mom. And I was busy. I was up at every single morning at 9 a.m. And I, I didn't even get home until... No, that's bullshit. If I, I was away, you'd be like, you just haven't called me. I'm no, just, I wouldn't. Really? <laughs> I wouldn't. Oh, thank God. I don't need to call my girlfriend anymore. This is pretty great. <laughs> it's okay. But I'm glad you had a good time. Also, Patricia <laughs> decided to tell me, well, she was joking with me 
Um, for the people who don't know, Patricia's uh, brother and sister in law are pregnant with a baby, and they don't know they don't know the sex. Exactly. So I sent him a photo of a, two baby outfits. Okay, there was one that was like a pink one, one that's a blue. He knows you, that you, it's only one baby, you and he sent goes a photo. Hold on, you sent a photo of both of them holding a a, a boy and a girl um, baby outfits. Mm-hmm. Okay, so it's them, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And then the next photo is of your brother holding two identical um, uh, activity gyms. You know, like babies when they're lying. Tristan, I come on as a guest, and you're mocking me the whole time. <laughs> Let me just say, like, number one, I'm so glad to have you. Number two, like, I'm just sitting here. But, like, I'm glad I'm just having fun. It's okay. The you know, Mike, wanted- Mike, sometimes when I, we have a guest on, maybe the guest and Mike are having a moment, I don't sit there and mock them. I didn't have a microphone. I couldn't even speak with you. Go ahead. Back to my story. Yeah. No, I mean, you were the one that stopped So immediately she sends these pictures and I'm thinking, oh my gosh, they're having twins. No, let's back up. I sent the first photo and he immediately goes, wait, wait, OMG, twins. Oh my God, wait. And of course I'm going to set, he's setting himself up for this. (laughs) And I was like, surprise. Obviously he's an idiot. No offense. I love you. Um, But like. No, they're not having twins. You know that. You would have already known that. But I, then, and then I, it, I it really was a start- co- and then it was a coincidence that there was like double like of the same gift, and I was like, oh, perfect. Philip posed with both of these gifts, and I send that, and then he calls me, and I'm like, I can't answer. I can't answer because I'll give it away. And then I'm livid, thinking that she that or then I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that they're having twins. <laughs> and then second, I'm pissed that Patricia refuses to call me or talk to me about it. What we're having like family this dinner? Isn't fun to celebrate, and then. I'm like, I can't believe you would share news like that to me over text message. And that's when I realized they weren't having twins. Patricia was just pulling my leg. But I was so... He set himself up for that. I went through the seven stages of grief, though, within like five minutes of um, really thinking these twins were going to happen and how upset I was with you. That you would just like Yeah, he was already looking up another knitting. Yes, I was about to buy a whole um, new set to knit a baby blanket because I'm like, I got to knit two now. All right. Well, so y'all wanted me to come yeah, on here. No, it we're happy. Seems I, like y'all don't. No, I couldn't. I can't respond because they won't hear me. But no, like you we're. Go, si- <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Is that okay? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was a funny story. No, it is a funny story. We're really glad to have you. I'm happy that we're all reunited. It feels just great to have the whole gang back together. You yeah, know what I mean? absolutely. You missed out on a fun weekend. You did. That's great. We'll have another fun one this weekend. So, tell everyone, how are you feeling post-appendicitis? Um, post-appendicitis? Actually, amazing. I feel the best I've ever been. Still a little sensitive in, like, a few areas on my abdomen. Like, if Did I'm, like... Did you lose weight? I can now, like, sleep on my belly. Lose weight? Yeah. No. Damn. Why? I was thinking about getting appendicitis to <laughs> lose weight. Oh, yeah? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it would, like, help a little bit. Yeah, but... Just, like, a little fitness hack. If yeah. Wanna, like, so... trim down on some <laughs> LBs. For like, so I don't know. Appendicitis. Not a big, not hard, not a big deal at all. No, and it's preventative too. So yeah. like it will never happen to you again. Mm-hmm. Um, no, I feel better. Um, I just can't do like squats or do any leg workouts, but like Damn. I'm back in the gym on my grind and I'm not like really in pain um, unless I'm just like. Can I go to the gym with you one day? It's just like an experiment. Yeah, I now go to Zila uh, a lot. Okay, I would I love that. Every day. Yeah. It's honestly the I missed you guys. Last week we saw um, <laughs> the Smile movie. At oh, David's house, he I kinda, did it. I kind of dipped out on that movie. Yeah, he did. Matt and Patricia were both uh, dipping out, so I was riding solo to this event, um, and it was a great. I mean, it was fun. I only watched like an hour of the movie, and I was talking to our dear friend Taylor Hudson about the entire time. So I didn't really watch much of the movie, as it was a lot of jump scares. Have but you I seen, uh, there's a lot of really good scary movies out right now. I heard Barbarian is really, really good. I know. I want to see that. And, and I then want to see Emily the Criminal. I don't think that's like a scary movie, but it's this movie with Aubrey Plaza. It's now streaming. And she like steals i don't know there's like some credit cards and stuff some like fraud and then and then, and then with the miracle and, the and then the woman she comes to town and she, and she says, says you get out of here and then the woman like with the marigold like in yes. the hotel oh, yeah. all the marigolds yeah. and it's marigold it's like you gorgeous like marigold yeah. <laughs> and then, and then, nobody then, knows what like <laughs> the marigold is exactly and then the woman walks in yeah. and she like walks into the room like really casual and she says you get out of here. here. That that's my cookbook. <laughs> Literally, yes. 
a little inside uh, joke. How are we doing on time? I can't believe we're running into <laughs> Knitting Club. I'm cool with it. I need to support these creative endeavors. Right. Um, I think oh, can we, can we like, never mind. We'll do it after. What? Cut that part out. Okay. Uh, I'm very excited for Knitting Club because we also have to shoot an ad for Criminal Minds for Miss Brooke over there. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! Wait, which gotta... are the best type of brand deals when it's something that you're already passionate about and you're getting to totally. do an endorsement for <gasps> speaking of board games yeah, speaking of the spooky season i really want to host a murder mystery party oh my god i want you to do that too okay really at your house actually that, no i love that it's so fun would you uh, take it seriously you've seen me in uh escape rooms i'm good now you see, he was in the escape room with it was us three and one other person and he was amazing yeah i was really yes because it was james charles <laughs> i was really good at it okay i know and i, I took it seriously so i need to invite a big high profile guest and then tristan's no, gonna like behave have, as long as the scenery is right and it feels good like you need to really put effort into decorating a period piece? Of course. I already have one that's like an old timey like twenties one. I need to look in if there's like a fun, cool like eighties one that Ooh, we could like. That dive or like into. a Gatsby one would kinda of be cool. So yeah. Like twenties kind of vibes. Okay. Cool. I don't know. We'll figure that out. We need to find one that can accommodate everybody because I feel like the friend group can we also there's an option for us to do an Among Us one. I've really always wanted to play an in person Among Us. It just seems like so much fun. Oh, you can play an you, have you not seen all the YouTube videos where people? We'll oh, watch it's like after. bodies, bodies, bodies. No, like Among Us. Like it's literally you dress up as the color characters and like and go around and perform tasks. Yeah, okay. I mean it kind of is like bodies, bodies, bodies. Yeah, we need a big house to do it in. Well, you have a big house. I think. You think so? Yeah, I, I mean, just feel like it's like kind of an open floor concept. Yeah, I need. I think we need <laughs> there's some. No, there's no areas to really hide. Um, are you? Have you thought about like Halloween costumes at all? Because right now is like the time to really be planning. Megan rather than and stressing. I actually, I don't know if I want to say it on the podcast, but have we have something from costumes. Glee. You have something from Glee. We have something from Glee. <gasps> yeah, I'm not doing something from Glee. Why? Not? Why? <laughs> I'm kidding. Whatever. Patricia, have you thought of a costume piece? I have one for like us. But it's like a silly costume. Patricia always wants to do something like a little cooler. Ooh, Matt, we're up on your time. Anyway, this was really. Anyways, well, guys, you know, this has been quite the interesting endeavor of a podcast. Um, there's going to be a lot going on behind us. Right. We've got, you know, Brooke Brand dealing. Matt is laughing at me. Um, but we thank y'all, of course, as always, for listening and being loyal gritsters. Also, thank y'all. I've gotten. A lot more people coming up to me recently and just like in we when we saw Don't Worry Darling the other day, um, one of the gritsters came up with to me. I wish I could remember her name. I'm going to look and see because I think I have it in my phone and then put it on the screen. If not, love you. But we love when you all come up and say hey. It's yes, amazing. Always and come up and say hey. Um, we love you all. We will see you next week on episode <laughs> 25. Next hopefully, week, 25. This yeah, is hopefully a little like more normal episode. Right. But we've got more knitting club people coming. Yeah, and I feel like we're kind of on the red carpet right now. <laughs> I, know. I wish we were standing. Um, all right. Well, we love you all. We Don't love you. And rate, we will review, see you. subscribe, et cetera, et cetera, and whatnot, and et cetera. And so on and so forth. It's the grits. It's the glam. Bye, Bye. y'all.